Hello everybody and welcome back to the reset. I am C Dubs and here we are continuing none other than plants versus zombies. So in the last video we actually finished up the daytime of the front yard. Now we're going to move on to nighttime in the front yard. Evening C Dubs. Those zombies just won't let up will they? You'll notice the fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. For one, you won't get any sun falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can, and you'll be A-O <laughs> good. Alright. So, we're going to take the puff shroom for sure. Then we're going to take the sunflower, my spud mine, and... We're basically just going to go for a bunch of low cost stuff because we're not going to have the boost from uh, from falling sun. You know what I mean? We're not going to get like just random sun falling down from the sky. So put that there, put that there. And the puff shrooms, we're just going to spam the crap out of them, honestly. And the recharge on them, like the cooldown, is really very short. So these guys, especially in later levels, act as real good sentries. I'm going to go ahead and put a spud there, because I can. Oh. Foolish of me. And he'll eat that guy. That's alright, though. That's A-O good. Put me another sunflower down. And I think... I think that the front yard is actually where we also unlock the... Uh, the grave eaters, essentially. And what that does is that basically gets us money so we can buy stuff later on whenever uh, Crazy Dave opens up his car shop. Ooh, there we go. Save up money to purchase cool stuff as I'm talking about it. So, yeah. And this, he's a bad dude. We don't like this guy. This guy's mean. He actually, wow, we actually took... Or made pretty quick work, made pretty quick work of him, rather. So... I'm going to go ahead and put this guy right there. So far, so good. So far, so good. I can't wait till we get to the backyard. Probably the backyard is my favorite part. Uh, the one with the pool. It's just fun. Like, it's just downright fun. Because there's a lot of stuff always happening. Like, everything's just popping off. Look at that, man. Oh, yeah. Now now we're starting to get... Uh, oh, and this is going to be the last wave anyway, so it don't matter. I love it whenever it really gets to just, like, flying at you. And you there's really no time other than just to think. Oh, my. All right. Well, we'll put you right there. Perfecto. And put that guy right there. Put this here. Ooh, yeah. Give me the money. There we go. Well, he <laughs> he's taking a little while to die there. Alright, so now we have our sun shroom, which is basically the cheaper version of the sunflower. Give small amount of sun at first, and then normal sun later. Hey, you've collected $350 in coins so far. When you collect $750, I'll sell you something really neato. Perfect. Alright, so let's get it on then, folks. Um... Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll do that, sure. I mean, not really any other options to do, you know what I mean? You feel me? Ceased to exist. 
That's funny. And then, once we get old Crazy Dave's shop unlocked, that's where a lot of cool taxes really come into play. Because uh, he sells a rake, and so if you have the rake in tandem with the spud mine, you're pretty much unstoppable for the first, like, I'd say 45 seconds to a minute in the game. Because it takes, like, basically, like, it, it'll take care of whatever's going on in these first two sets. And then you can even respawn. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. You know, it's cool. Ooh, now we got a cone head coming in. Go ahead and stack these guys up as much as possible here. Put that guy there. And we're going to put a walnut there. Not going to worry about putting any mushrooms right there for right now, except for maybe right there. But yeah, Mr. Spud came online at just the right time. I'm going to put that guy there. Next, we're going to go ahead and add... I think I'm going to put a Snow Peter, or Snow Pea, rather, right here. Or maybe not. Yeah, we'll do a Snow Pea, Snow Pea right there. It all kind of dictates where these guys are coming from. Now I got my sun shrooms all growing, and they're getting to the full size now, making life a little bit easier on us. Oh yeah, baby. There we go. Put a snow pea right there. got a bucket head coming in so he might he might cause a wee bit of problems here see if we can get ourselves a snow pea perfect right there all right we got grandpa zombie coming in like he like these guys aren't really that much of a problem in this particular section it's whenever we get to the rooftops late 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 in the game that they really become obnoxious because uh, they end up throwing ladder like there's zombies that'll throw ladders down to climb up over your defenses and if they get over your defenses into your plants then it's it, it's really not a good situation to be at obviously oh no I can't plant on graves oh crap all right, so this is what we're going to do. We'll put that right there. Perfecto. And we're going to dig this guy. Throw on him. We're going to throw that guy there. Collect up my coins. I don't even... I think I'm missing coins. I hate that. I hate missing... Oh, man, look at that. I probably am because I'm not really paying attention over here. So now we're just going to start spamming all our peas in all the lanes everyone's got a snow pea except for this bottom lane and that's okay all right Poific, poific, poific. Now we're gonna go ahead and dig that guy up because he's useless. He's absolutely not firing any kind of any kind of ammo at these dudes. And we're gonna go ahead and put oops. There we go. Mr. Snow Pea. 
And now we're getting to the point where we can be comfortable again. Whew. So as you can see, I got no cherry bombs, so I can't just like nuke these guys on a whim as much as I wish I could. I'm hoping that I get the squash soon. I thought I got the squash pretty quick here, but I guess not. We'll throw a, a walnut right there. Yes, sir. Oh, my lordy. Oh, my lordy. Just hold off then, I guess. Perfect. There we go. The fume shroom. Oh, we're so close. So close. I bet you I did miss some uh, some coins in that level. Ah, well. Alright, so the fume shroom essentially uh, shoots fumes that can pass through screen doors. <laughs> and there's a zombie that specifically carries the screen door, so we definitely want him up in the mix. And we're going to do some walnut action and some snow pea action. Let's rock. Throw this guy there. We're going to put that guy there. Now I'm really going to be trying to pay attention to the coins. I really want the money. Really want that money so we can unlock Crazy Dave. Because once we get Crazy Dave unlocked, that's when the magic happens. That's when the real fun begins. I do it every time. Why do I do that? It's not like it really matters, but it's kind of annoying. There we go. Missed it by just a hair. Alright, and we'll put this guy right there. Kind of act as a blocker. We're going to throw... Well, I was going to put a... Put a spud mine up there at the top lane. But I don't think... I think we're going to focus on just getting our shrooms up and running first. And then we'll play around with uh, defenses. Because we're looking pretty good as it is. We ain't hurting at all. Right. As you can see, I did it again. God, why do I do that? I'm so focused on the sun shrooms that I, <laughs> I end up putting that guy down instead. There we go. So now we're for sure going to be able to open up Crazy Dave's shop after this. Ooh, I could not have put that fume shroom in a better spot either. Let's go. Put a fume shroom right here. We're going to put some back up there. And my little sun shroom should be growing here pretty quick. There we go. Right on cue, fellas. Right on cue. Alright, and now, room for one more fume shroom for sure, and now we just start focusing on putting down walnuts. First one will go right there. Oh yeah, just bolstering now. Just going ape with it right now. One mo, one mo. There we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. Loving it. Loving it. 
And what's cool about the fume shrooms too is it'll attack multiple targets. Just kind of mowing these guys down. And there's our grave eater. Grave Buster, I'm sorry, Grave Buster. Plant it on a grave to remove the grave. Next level. Hey, want to buy an extra seed slot? It'll cost you seven fifty, but you'll be able to choose seven seeds per level instead of six. Yeah, I actually want that. All right, and hey, when you save up five thousand, I'll sell you the eight seed slot upgrade. Five thousand. Yeah, that's actually quite a bit. Um, can I don't, oh, I can't go to Crazy Dave's shop. Oh, that's a sad panda. We can't go there yet. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do either. God bless America. Whoops. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and we'll end the episode right here. I'm trying to keep it between 15 minutes and 20 minutes. Um, so that said, thank you all so much for watching. We're going to pick up right where we're leaving off here for the next video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll make sure to get back to you folks as soon as I possibly can. Go ahead and put a like on the video for me if you could. Share it if you want to share it. Make sure that you do hit the subscribe button. Keep up on all my latest content. And until next time, folks, I wish you all a very wonderful day. And above all else, thank you again so much. And I'll see you next time.